We're being asked to find the Laplace transform of the cosine squared of 3t solution. I don't know a formula offhand for this, although I'm sure we could come up with one. So what we'll do is use an identity. So recall that the cosine squared of x is equal to 1 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2. So in this problem, we have cosine squared of 3t. So this should be equal to 1 plus cosine of 2. And then this whole thing here is our x. So 2 times 3t. And this is all being divided by 2. right? Because it's 1 plus cosine 2x. And this is our x. So this is equal to 1 plus cosine of, let's see, 2 times 3t is 6t. And it's all being divided by 2. So this is 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 6t. Okay, I think now we're ready to take the Laplace transform. So the Laplace transform of the cosine squared of 3t, well, we already worked it out. We know that the cosine squared of 3t is equal to 1 half plus 1 half cosine 60. So the Laplace transform is linear, so we can write this as 1 half, skipping, skipping some steps here, Laplace of 1 plus 1 half Laplace of cosine of 6t. And we're almost done. So if you forgot the formula for the Laplace transform of cosine, let me write it over here. The Laplace transform of cosine kt, well, cosine has the s. That's how I remember it. So the s goes up top, and here you have s squared plus k squared. If it was sine, you would just have a k up top. So cosine has the s. Cosine has the s. Nice little memory trick. The Laplace transform of 1 is just 1 over s. And then here we get 1 half again, and looks like our k here is 6. So it's going to be s over s squared plus k squared, and k is 6, so 6 squared. So this is 1 over 2s plus 1 half times, we still have the s, and looks like s squared and 6 squared is 36. And that's it. That's the final answer. I hope that made sense.